Hello and welcome to SIZ TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, Team SISD celebrated its 2021 Teacher of the Year virtual announcement to name the top two district winners. Kelsey Anderson, a Cactus Trails Elementary teacher, won SIZ Elementary Teacher of the Year, and Donna Cianez, a teacher from El Dorado High School, won SIZ Secondary Teacher of the Year. The second annual virtual announcement showcased all SIZ Campus Teachers of the Year and the Elite Eight finalists. When I realized that my name was being called out, I went into a little bit of a state of shock, I guess, because I just wasn't expecting it. I am just one of those people that loves to help, and I think because of all the years accumulated, I've been able to help in many different capacities and make those connections with the community, teachers, and students. I have to tell you, like so many other teachers, I think this is the hardest year in teaching. We have all had to learn new tools, and many times I felt like a first-year teacher, but we're not alone. And what made the difference for me is being able to reach out to people within our district, my colleagues, our custodians, instructional aides, our principals, everyone has been so supportive towards each other. And I think that's what makes the difference is knowing that we are there to help each other. And ultimately our goal is to help our students. And so that makes all the difference. I was really speechless. I kind of sat there waiting for someone else's name to be called because I know it was against some amazing teachers. So when they called my name, it kind of didn't hit me at first. I just stared at the screen and then realized my name was showing on the bottom and I was unmuted. And my dad was like, uh, that's you. I just cried. I couldn't help myself. So it was an amazing feeling. Everyone at the district, all the teachers are truly amazing. They're like bottom to none. They go out of their way for every single kid at every single school. Not only us as Teachers of the Year and Elite Eight and all the teachers that won, but every teacher at every school. I am ready to represent SISC at Region and the teachers in the whole district, my campus, my administrators, my colleagues in third grade. So I'm just really, really excited. Six schools in Team SIZ received generous funds from Partner Education and popular grocery store Albertsons. The grocery chain opened a new location in Far East El Paso and donated grants of $2,000 to six schools in the El Dorado and Pebble Hills High School feeder areas, including the Pebble Hills High School drumline. During this year that we've had COVID going on, we haven't been able to fundraise as much as we normally would, and we've obviously needed more items this year than any other time. This money is going to be very helpful in making sure that students and teachers have what they need to continue the year and, and even lead us into next year. It's a beautiful store, lots to offer. I know we already scoped it out. We often need flowers and cakes and stuff just for different appreciation and recognitions of our faculty staff, sometimes our students. And so I also live in the area, so I'm just excited to be shopping here and have a beautiful new store in the community. We're we're just so honored to have been able to give out over $200,000 in Albertson's Foundation grants to nonprofits, but more importantly to our wonderful school partners with the Socorro Independent School District. At Albertson's, we believe in education, we believe in our educators, and it's an honor to be able to support the Socorro Independent School District. We believe education is the backbone of our communities, and we are here to partner long term whether it's donating a pallet of water to help the band through football season, helping a football team with meals before the game, we're here to partner with these schools and your efforts. The Bond Accountability Committee met safely in person for the first time since 2019. The committee was provided with an update of Bond 2017 projects and received a tour of the Socorro High School total reconstruction site. We have 29 projects of the 2017 Bond program, so I gave them an update. We have seven projects completed, actually eight uh, completed, and we've got partial completion on a lot of our uh, other projects are on schedule and uh, this program was designed for a five-year program. We are excited. Every day they advance on the construction and every day we start, we build that momentum for our teachers and our students. Well, this, this, is a, a, this is a first class facility. Uh, this is gonna really gonna help the, the kids of Corro for many, many years to come. We have two new programs for next school year. We have Barbary and we have Diesel Mechanics. So these are more opportunities that our students will be able to engage in and have more opportunities to get new certifications. That is gonna lead them from high school into industry and that's what we want for our kids. It's amazing they're gonna keep this project on, on time. 
knowing that all the, the labor shortages, material shortages, and just keep these projects moving the way they did is just, it's just a, a great feat in itself. Uh, I think they did a fantastic job managing and keeping the contractor on, on time. And actually, I hear maybe you know, on ahead of time. So I think just that, that, that right there, just make sure that the kids are ready for the next school year. I think it's going to be fantastic. They're going to be amazed with what they see when they get back to school. Sergeant Roberto Ituarte Elementary School celebrated Earth Day by teaching students the importance of beautifying our planet and raising awareness on global warming and clean energy. Ituarte Elementary Pre-K students planted new flowers in the school's garden to serve as a place to read, explore, and learn. We're trying to build that foundation for them, and as they get older, they're going to start learning about global warming, and so they're going to have the basic foundations, and then they built on that. It's going to be a wonderful um, experience for them, to know about the plants and uh, we have already learned all the pre-kinder guidelines for science so now we are executing what they already know. They love it! I mean if you look at them they're smiling and laughing, they love playing in the dirt. This is hands-on learning right here. They learned about living and non-living things and about their environment so that eventually what we want them to know is they're living things and eventually they will have to take care of the planet so that we can grow. We're planting flowers because it keeps the earth clean and because we only have one earth and we need to keep it clean because uh, uh, we don't keep it clean, we don't have any place to live. Team SISD hosted a librarian appreciation park and pickup party to celebrate SISD librarians marking the ending of National Library Week. The librarians got to enjoy lunch and picked up prices along the way. Today we're celebrating the librarians in Socorro ISD who have done amazing things this year from distributing thousands of laptops to students to helping kids learn how to access those devices and how to help the teachers get on. Um, it's just been a, a learning year for us and so we just needed a chance to celebrate. So we've invited them all here to have food and to meet each other. It's the first time we've seen everybody since before the pandemic. It's really nice to be celebrated as a librarian because um, there's so many things that all of our librarians do and to have that recognized is fantastic. And it was great to see everybody, to come and get some food. Uh, we haven't been together in a group like this for over a year. It feels great. I mean, I have a great group of librarian friends that, I mean, we talk to each other through text, we talk to each other through the phone, but there is nothing like seeing them in person. It's a great opportunity for us to kind of remember that we're all in this together and that we're doing this for our students and for each other, and it's a great way to get together. The Mongwood High School class of 2021 graduating seniors and their families gathered in the school's parking lot for the Light of the Night Luminary fundraiser in support of students. The event is a unique way to bring together the seniors in a safe way. Funds raised will be used to purchase graduation medals, masks, and a class gift. This is the first ever uh, Luminaria event that we've ever had. We wanted to come up with an event that we could bring people to campus in a safe manner. I, I came out here with my parents today to I guess uh, celebrate my me as a senior and everyone else as a senior. Throughout this whole year, it's always been just you know online school looking at a screen for me, and I came out here just to have something at least to remember. I was so happy. Um, he didn't do anything through the year. It's been really sad, you know, what's been going on. I, I just wanted him to have at least a, something, at least a little bit of something. And I, you know, I wanted to enjoy with him, both of us, his parents. Families could buy a bag in honor of their senior and printed these amazing messages. And we had over, I want to say about almost 300 orders for seniors. It feels um, really special. As a senior, I'm very grateful that they're doing this because after all of this tough year, it just, uh, it means a lot to me. I am so overwhelmed, really. It's been hard, you know, we know it's been hard. It's been hard on the kids and I feel for them. I feel for them and their families and it brings so much joy to be able to see them here, smiling, celebrating themselves because they deserve it.
More than 100 students at Trailblazers Early College, Socorro Early College, Rams Early College, and Mission Early College High School were honored with a virtual stolen ceremony. The early college students and their families celebrated their achievement of earning an associate degree before graduating high school. When I think about all of your accomplishments that you all were willing to take this journey with us, you didn't know what it was going to be like. You didn't know um, what to expect. And yet you just did it. You stood at the foot of that mountain and took that first step and jumped in. And so it is impressive. Everything that you sacrificed to get here. I feel amazing. I feel relieved. Yeah, very just proud of myself. You know, it's been a long four years, but it, it's nice to finally be here. During this pandemic, I had to learn how to adjust and be even a self the way I had to mature. I mean, a lot of your teachers aren't there just to teach you. They're there to motivate you and, you know, keep you up even when the times get hard. They're also your friends sometimes or motivational support, encouragement and role models to look up to. More than receiving like a stole that has, you know, like such a meaningful significance, it was to me, it was kind of like a transition from like being a 14 year old girl who didn't know what tech was was gonna lead me to to like realizing that all my work paid off I was provided with all the resources for it so I felt like my success is as much mine as it is the programs for who I've become in th these past four years listening to the impact in which the program brings to the students the amount of support needed from uh, administrative from the district as well as from the teachers that speaks volumes in terms of the determination and the heart that the teachers bring we can create the path but at the end of the day the student is the one that takes that initiative and has that drive it's bittersweet because um you know when i was a freshman everyone's always like you know you gotta enjoy these four years because they go by really fast and i didn't think i had it in me but with a lot of help of teachers counselors friends you know family like it came a long way it's so special and i think that um, as an 8th grader, I had no idea what I wanted my future to look like, but when being presented with MEX, it was the best opportunity I was ever presented with in my academic career. I'm so glad that I made that decision for myself because it's been one of the best and it's one that's uh, been so worthwhile. And like the support of my family, to be the first in my family to ever receive a college degree at 17, um, it's just an honor and it's a privilege to be a part of something like this. Alumni of Socorro High School were invited to visit the original junior high portion of the flagship high school one last time before Bond 2017's second phase of total reconstruction is set to begin. Tours were given and all who participated shared heartfelt memories of their time as Bulldogs. I feel that it's very important. I think it was something that was uh, a necessity for the community. You could see the excitement in their eyes. Uh, you can also see that they were able to go back in time uh, a lot of the people that were here wanted to discuss amongst themselves their experiences uh, once they were here as a um, former student and I just thought that was very cool. I remember where my locker was and I remember where we used to hang out and I remember, you know, certain little things come back when you see something and you're like, oh, I remember this happened here, like my friends and where we used to hang out. So I think it's a really great opportunity that they're giving the community. I actually have two nephews, one of them that's going to start with the new school already. So he's coming here and then another one that's little. So I'm excited to have the generation continue with the Bulldogs because uh, my sister and my brother came here. I came here and then most of our family came here too. So for us, this is like home. <laughs> it hit me in my heart because this is something that has been through the family. So if I experience it with my own family, I can just imagine the other families that have been here from their great grandparents, even great great grandparents, you know, just the history behind all this. And so it's, it's very heartwarming that the community asked for this and the credit is due to all the employees of the district that made this happen for the community to have the, these memories for them. Le quiero dar gracias a todos los empleados del distrito porque sin ellos este no no iba a ser posible. That's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with our Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Be sure to friend us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel Team SISD, and visit our website. Thank you again, and see you next time. <laughs>